The original concept of the engineering design module was to uh, introduce students at an early stage in their academic life uh, to team working and the fact that when they leave university, I know it seems a long way away, but when they leave university to actually be ready to work. And so the engineering design module was uh, created uh, as a complete program review for year one, two, three, um, going through the engineering um, topics in order to um, embed um, transferable skills such as project management, team working, um, good communications, all, all, the, all the stuff that you need when you get out there in the big bad world. We take it for granted that we do this normally, um, but unfortunately a lot of people have never come across it, especially youngsters, they come through school, they come straight into university, and whilst they may have been doing smaller projects in school, they've never had to work together on, you know, with completely different people that they've never met before. A classic for an engineer in the, the real world is to be thrown into a team of totally um, <clears throat> anonymous people that they've never seen. Uh, they don't know what their skill sets are. They don't know anything. And so um, this is quite an interesting module because we go right the way through from creativity, i.e. where does the first idea come from, right the way through to design, um, production, and demonstration of the finished product. The, the key learning outcomes are really, really to do with transferable skills for this module. We give them all the technical stuff in other modules and the, the, you know, the deep uh, coding practices and analog and digital um, electronics information, but this module brings that all together. And in order to do that, we need, um, we need to introduce the students to um, techniques and tools that they've probably never come across before, or at least they may have dabbled with but not used in a professional context. With our teams, with our um, cohort, we look at blogs, what's the use of WordPress in particular. Uh, now we may or may not use WordPress again next year. It, we've had a few comments this year from students saying it's a bit awkward when it comes to transferring the information from WordPress to their final assessment. Uh, document. Uh, so we'll have a look at that, but at the moment they're coping and it seems like it's another little challenge that is good for them to come across. Uh, and also we ask them to create a video. It's like a promotional video. And this promotional video is, is they are fantastic. They're about two minutes long, but they just encapsulate the whole of the team doing whatever it is that they've designed and constructed. Some of them are seriously good. So, so obviously the learning outcomes, as far as we're concerned, um, for learning technologies are how to communicate via written word, the blog, um, and within that blog to include diagrams, explanations, reflective thinking, you know, what, would have done, what they should have done rather than what they did do, and so on and so forth. Um, and also, I like to think that uh, they're using those tools um, on a regular basis. They get used to using those tools. Engineer, professional engineers need to record everything. Uh, and they record it accurately. So the blog is one of those tools that perhaps they don't realise that's what they're being given in year one. But they're expected to continue with the communication aspects in recording things in lab books, recording things on websites. In future, in future modules in years two and three. So again, this is a great starting point for them to get used to doing that. I've sort of talked about uh, how the students were supported in their use of these platforms. Um, by giving, obviously by giving them the, the lectures uh, on how to use a blog and showing them how to do it and the video editing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, um, but actually when it comes down to, to the students themselves, we let them get on with it. And I don't remember, I don't recall even last year or this year having um, a request for further information on those tools. So either they just struggled with it and, and, uh, and went with what they knew best, they all produced something quite good, um, or they understood from the initial lectures what they were supposed to do. Uh, certainly they all logged in and they all invited me to their blog sites and, and I was occasionally dipping in to make sure that they were doing things. 
So they get a bit of support and I will put a few comments on from time to time just to say, this is good stuff, guys. Have you thought about recording X, Y, and Z? Uh, and so, um, yeah, they, they do make good use of the tools. As far as reflection is concerned, the blog, I stressed to them a number of times during uh, both the, the taught period before Christmas and while they're in their labs, I, I stress several times, please go onto your blogs and write down what you consider to be good and bad points. Think about it and say what you might do differently. And, and so the reflective elements I try to encourage them to do, mainly because it supports their final assessment. 40% of the module is down to a reflective report that each individual does. So we can, we can check their group working capabilities with the design and the product that's produced. Uh, and we, we can check their individual um, capabilities through the reflective report. And we ask them in that reflective report to actually assess their teammates. Though the marks that they give their teammates are not used directly by the academics to give them a final mark, but um, they're an indicator as to how much effort each team member has, has actually uh, uh, contributed. And so um, it is interesting. I do get a few comments about that, like, oh, I don't feel comfortable giving a mark to so and so. And you, you have to say, just be honest, because that's what they will be have, have to do. So part of the outcome is objectivity. It's to make sure that the students understand the value of things, understand the value of work, understand the value of recording, understand the value of passing the message. So for me, next year, the learning I've got from, from this is that I'll be doing much more active teaching next year, getting them involved from day one in creativity sessions, in project management sessions, in case studies, in trying to encourage them to use the tools and skills that we are going to give them over the course of that, that lecture periods.